With a successful mine operating in Kirkland Lake in the early 1920s, Harry Oakes was in a position to travel both for business and leisure. On a world cruise to South Africa, he met a charming and beautiful young woman named Eunice McIntyre, a part-time stenographer in a Sydney bank. She was the daughter of Australian government official Thomas McIntyre, and when word reached her about her father's death, she returned immediately to Australia. Harry Oakes accompanied her, and after a brief romance, the two were married in Sydney on June 30, 1923. Harry and Eunice returned to Kirkland Lake, where they lived for a year in Harry's home on the Lake Shore Mine property. Living so close to an active mine made for a noisy environment to raise children, and in 1924 the Oaks family moved to Niagara Falls and later to Nassau in the Bahamas. When Harry was knighted in 1938, she received the title of Lady Eunice Oaks. Lady Oaks was in Bar Harbor, Maine, when Harry was murdered in Nassau and was present for much of the trial. In the following years, she became the principal owner of the Welland Securities Company and owned properties in the Bahamas and North America. Lady Oaks passed away at the age of 87 on June 9, 1981, at one of her Nassau homes. <laughs>